हेलो द टॉपिक ऑफ द डिस्कशन फॉर द डे इज अबाउट इंटीग्रेशन बाय पार्ट्स इंटीग्रेशन बाय पार्ट्स और दिस कम्स आउट ऑफ अ वेरी सिंपल फॉर्म्यूला इफ वी हैव यू इनटू बी द डेरिवेटिव ऑफ यू इनटू बी डी बाय डी एक्स ऑफ यू बी इज u into derivative of v so i am writing u into v dash dash is equivalent to finding out derivative so u into v dash plus v into u dash so if i have u v dash on the left hand side then this is equal to derivative of u v so u v bracket dash is derivative of u into v minus v Into u dash. I just integrate this. So integration of u into v dash is equal to integration of u v bracket dash. So the derivative of this and the integration of that derivative will give us u v again. Like we know, if if we take log x, then the derivative of log x is one by x, and the integration of one by x will again be log x. So the derivative and integration will cancel out each other. So this is u v minus will have v into u dash integration. Now the trouble that we have can be always write u into v dash here. So I am saying instead of u into v dash, can I write this u into v? So instead of v dash, I am writing v. So this is equal to u. v here but this v is v dash is derivative of this v so this v is integration of this so iski jagah agar maine sirf v likha only v if i written only v here i'll get integration of v here minus integration of instead of v i'll write integration of v into derivative of u into v so this is our formula for solving the problems by parts by parts is that formula in integration with which we can find out the integration when two different functions are multiplied with each other just like x into sin x or x into cos x or x into e raised to x or x square into log x or anything like that so this is how we can find out the integration by parts we will now solve very simple basic for problems based on integration by parts so i'll write the first problem as integration of x into log x now what should be the way to solve this we have a formula for integration of u into v that formula is u into integration of v minus integration of integration v into derivative of u but here u into v if i put it in this way you will get this formula but should i write u is equal to x or should i write u is equal to log x how do we know that so there is a rule that if you follow you get the answer very easily the rule is l i a t e logarithmic inverse arithmetic trigonometric and exponential this is how we should order the particular functions so here it is log logarithmic so we'll place this first logarithmic first so i is equal to integration of log x into x into dx so this is u and this x is v so this is equal to log x integration of x dx minus integration of integration x dx multiplied by derivative of log x into dx so i get this is equal to log x multiplied by x minus x square by 2 integration x is x square by 2 this integration as it is into derivative of log x is 1 by x The answer again is x log x 
minus 1 by x ये 1 by 2 बाहर will get 1 by 2 here x square upon x is x x dx is x square by 2 so you will have x square upon 4 plus c and this is the answer we will now solve one more problem like this x into e raised to x into dx so it should be l i a t there is no logarithm here there is no inverse sin inverse cos inverse tan inverse or sec inverse cosec inverse cosec cot cot inverse there is no inverse arithmetic arithmetic is x raised to 1 x raised to 2 x raised to 3 x raised to 5 by 2 x raised to 7 by 2 everything is arithmetic it is there x raised to 1 Trigonometric, there is no trigonometric, but exponential a raised to x or e raised to x or 5 raised to x or 10 raised to whatever it is there so we have arithmetic and inverse, it is in the right order, so I will just write i is equal to x integration of e raised to x dx minus integration of integration of e raised to x into dx into derivative of x into dx x e raised to x minus integration of e raised to x into y x e raised to x minus e raised to x plus c this is the answer I hope there is no problem we will solve one more problem like this based on similar arithmetic and e raised to x but slightly complex in this integration of x square into e raised to x into dx is equal to integration of 40 is equal to I will write x square here into e raised to x into dx minus integration of integration of e raised to x into dx into d by dx derivative of x square dx this is equal to x square into e raised to x minus integration of e raised to x into x square the derivative to x I hope there is no problem with this e raised to x integration is e raised to x integration of e raised to x is e raised to x and the derivative of x square is 2x so 2 constant is gone out x into e raised to x dx similarly you can simply solve it further x square into e raised to x minus 2 into bracket x integration of e raised to x dx minus integration of integration e raised to x dx into derivative of x dx this is equal to x square into e raised to x minus 2 x integration of e raised to x is x e raised to x as it is x is e raised to x integration e raised to x minus integration of e raised to x integration of e raised to x e raised to x derivative of x is 1 into dx so this comes out to be x square e raised to x minus 2 into bracket x e raised to x minus e raised to x plus c and then we can expand the bracket and write it here or you can take e raised to x common form everything and you can write x square minus 2x plus 1 into e raised to x plus c I hope you get this. I hope there is no problem. I will send one more video based on the same principles again. Solving some other problems. Please study. All the best.